Rover Perseverance is already gathering some remarkable images and data from the surface of Mars. NBC4's Kim Baldonado spoke with some JPL scientists about the mission and what they're most excited about. The images are as stunning as they are significant. This is an image of the Rover Perseverance slung beneath the descent stage, its propulsion backpack, as it is being lowered to the surface of Mars. You can see the dust kicked up by the rover's engines. And this is something that we've never seen before. It uh, was stunning, uh, and the team was awestruck. This photo of the rover's front tire next to Martian rocks delighted the 450 scientists from around the world working on this mission. Our chats just lit up with the science team saying, look over here and look over here. And that's exactly what we were hoping for. Scientists are especially interested in what appear to be holes in the rocks. Are they volcanic or sedimentary? We're excited to, to follow up on that and find out really what's going on here. Over the next few days, engineers will do a series of hardware checks on the rover and its instruments, and then deploy the mass cam. A uh, depth panorama of the rover, and we're also going to do a full panorama of our landscape around us. It will take um, a little while to downlink all of that image data, but we do anticipate in getting a lot of it over the weekend. Much more yet to come from Perseverance and its helicopter ingenuity, but the people who've worked years to get this far took a moment to celebrate yesterday's smooth landing. We had a chief engineer's happy hour at 5.30 p.m. last evening, and that is, as it has been since the time of COVID, a virtual event via Zoom. There was a uh, socially distanced uh, consumption of ice cream uh, outdoors uh, shortly after the landing. But for the team which stayed at JPL working late into the night? I went home and just passed out from just the, the excitement of the day. Excitement, which is sure to continue as Perseverance embarks on its scientific mission. Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News. All right.